In this video, I'm going to walk you through Elicit's task called the brainstorm research ideas to teach you how to let AI help you develop and hone your skills in developing research questions. So this is elicit.org. You can come up here and go up to tasks on the right hand side. I'll also leave a link to elicit in the description below. So it's easier for you to get there. But if you go up to tasks and you can come to brainstorm research questions, I'll leave a link to a previous video I did on the lit review task that elicit has. But today I want to focus on brainstorm research questions. So when we click on that, it's taking us to a similar looking homepage where we're going to put in our input and our input can be a topic, a question or a specific research direction. And just like with ChatGPT that you might have used before, the quality that it's going to give back to you is related to the quality of your input. So if I put something simple as obesity, I get a lot of different kind of vague research questions back. These are all very, very different from each other. And I may only have one that I may be interested in. So the more specific I give it, the more direction I give it, the higher quality output I'm going to get. So instead of just saying obesity, let's say obese effects on, we'll specifically say maternal obesity effects on fetal development. So here we're getting, first of all, they're all centralized around fetal development because we've given it a more specific input. We're getting things like how much of the negative impact of obesity in pregnant women is due to genetics. Very good question. You know, is it environmental? Is it genetics? What nutritional factors seem to impact fetal development? And this could be even taken one step further to like, in obese women, are there specific nutritional or vitamin factors that help protect fetal development throughout pregnancy? How much variation in fetal development is caused by maternal obesity? How many obese women get pregnant in the U.S. each year? So these are a lot of different questions. And you can see here, it actually gave me a duplicate and it actually marked the duplicate. So we can remove that duplicate. And I can do show more to see even more different research questions that we could use. So in my previous ChatGPT video, I did talk about how ChatGPT can help you find research questions. And I got some comments related to if you're a researcher, you shouldn't really need AI to help you find research questions. And the fact is, is that first of all, number one, we're all beginners at some point in our journey. And it can be really difficult when you're a beginner and you haven't had a lot of practice in developing research questions to just start coming up with research questions, especially when you're first learning your field. So there's nothing wrong with using an AI source to help you develop out examples of research questions. This is kind of the same thing as when citation managers came out saying, oh, if you're a really good researcher, you're good at creating citations, you don't need a citation manager. Well, that's not necessarily true. Even if you look at blog posts on research questions, they're not going to be specific to your field and using AI allows you to generate that. However, using AI is the starting point, right? So I would not take one of these questions and just go and start creating a research plan and researching it because the fact is, is that this has probably already been done. These are all on the vaguer side, right? Like how much of the negative impact of obesity in pregnant women is due to genetics? These are like research questions that are probably on the order of what an entire lab is investigating, not on the order of a single research project. So what you want to do once you can find a question that you're interested in or just use this to practice coming up with questions, seeing examples and coming up with questions is now you actually want to go and investigate this further, right? And one of the ways that can really help you do this is actually downloading my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It helps you with developing out ideas and actually testing and investigating those ideas. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But a second way that you can do it is actually using Elicit again. So let's take this top research question and I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to open tasks in a new tab just so that I have access to my previous research questions. And you can also download these research questions. So you can download the results as a CSV if you want to keep them into the future. 
And so this is taking us back to the tasks. And so what I'm gonna do is just click lit review and I'm gonna paste in that research question and I'm gonna hit search. And what this is now going to do is go look for papers that may be able to answer that research question. So now I have several different papers on maternal obesity and pregnancy. And what I'm gonna do is come down here. If you want a full investigation into how all of this works, again, check out that video below about using this. But specifically over here, it's gonna give me a summary of the top four papers that answer my questions. So the in general answer is these papers suggest that maternal obesity has a negative impact on offspring that is at least partially due to genetics. And so if we kind of scan this, we're looking, we're mainly seeing the negative impacts. I'm looking for the genetic component. So overall, this is mainly talking about just the impacts. So if I come down here and I search for something in this paper, there is going to be this, which is a question relevant summary. So it is going to take whatever's in that paper and answer it for this question. So I'm gonna allow it to analyze that and it's not pulling up any. So sometimes this happens, it's not going to pull up anything. And over here, this is where you can start your research into what papers you might wanna start reading to really understand this. Is this a good question? And then what specific research idea, research question, do you actually want to investigate from this? So that's how you can start finding a research question, seeing if it's actually a gap in the literature by looking at these different papers, what has been done, get my 30 day research jumpstart guide, that's gonna help you to be able to expand on it. So once you realize what's been done, how can you actually come up with a novel research idea or question to answer it? If you want to see that original video on Elicit's lit review so you can get more of an example of what you can do with this, I will leave that video here. And if you just want to see how to find different research ideas, I will leave another video on that up here. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more tips on how to become a more efficient researcher. I hope to see you in the next video.